free speech is meaningless unless you allow people uh, you don't like to say things you don't like. Otherwise, it's irrelevant. Um, and if at the point at which you lose uh, free speech, uh, it doesn't come back. Do you think you prioritize freedom of, of speech over misinformation and hate speech? Well, you know, who's to say that something, something is misinformation? Um, who's the arbiter of that? Is it the BBC? Who, who is to say that uh, one person's misinformation is another person's information? Who is but you, going but you to accept that misinformation that? can be dangerous, that it can cause yes. real-world harms, that it can potentially cause... Um... Yeah, so the point I'm trying to make is that the BBC itself has, at times, published things that are false. Do you agree that that has occurred? Even if you aspire to be accurate, there are times when it will, you, you will not be. We've spoken to people very recently who were involved in moderation, and they just say they just, there's not enough people to police this stuff, particularly around, um, particularly around hate speech um, in the company. Do, is that well, what hate speech you are you address? talking about? Personally, my uh, for you, I would see I get I get more of that kind of content, yeah, personally. But I, I'm not going to talk to talk to the rest of for, for the rest of Twitter. So you see more hate speech personally. I would say I would see more hateful content in that. In that content moment. you don't like or or hateful. What do you mean to describe a hateful thing? Thing that may include something that is slightly racist or slightly sexist. Those kinds of those kinds of things. So you think if I'm, something is slightly sexist, it should be banned? I'm trying to understand what you mean by hateful con content. And I'm asking for specific examples. Um, and if and you just said that if something is slightly sexist, that's hateful content. Does that mean that it should be banned? So I'm asking for examples. Can, right. you name, can you name one example? I, I honestly don't. Use, I, I, honestly, you I don't. You can't name I, a single example. I'll tell you why. Because I don't actually use that for you feed anymore. Because I, I just don't particularly like it. You said actually, a lot of people. A lot of people are quite similar. I, I, I only. Well, well, I only look well at hang my, on a second. You said you've seen more hateful content, but you can't name a single example. Not even one. I'm not sure I've used that feed for the last three or four weeks. And I. Well, I, then I how did you see that hateful content? content? Because I've been I've been using I've been using Twitter since you've taken it over for the last six months. Okay, so then you must have at some point seen the you, for you hateful content. And I'm asking for one example. Right, and, and I, you can't I, give a single I, one. I, and, and, and I'm saying I, I, then I, I say so that you don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yes, because you can't give a single example of hateful con a content, not even one tweet, and yet you claimed that the hateful content was high. Well, that's a false. No, what I claimed, you just lied. What no no? Give I me one example. Not. I mean, I, right, and Literally if you look at something one. like the, the uh, Strategic Dialogue uh, Institute in the, U in the UK, they will say that. So you, they, Look, it's, people will say all sorts of nonsense. I'm literally asking for a right. single example, and you can't name one. Right, and as, as I've already said, I don't use that feed. But let's, well, then how let, would you know? Let, that I don't you, think this is getting anywhere. You literally said you experienced more hateful content, and then couldn't name a single example. Right, and as I said, I, That's haven't, absurd. I, haven't, I haven't actually looked at that feed. I then would how would you know this hateful content? Because I'm saying that's what I saw a few weeks ago. I can't give you an exact example. Let's move on. We, have, we only have a certain amount of time. Change Amazing. The COVID, you've changed the COVID misinformation. Has rules. BBC changed this COVID misinformation? The BBC does not set the rules on Twitter, so I'm asking you. No, I'm talking about the BBC's misinformation about COVID. I'm, I'm, I'm literally has, asking you about, you changed the labels, the COVID misinformation labels. There used to be a policy, and then it then disappeared. Why, why do that? Does the BBC uh, hold itself at all responsible for misinformation re regarding ma masking and, and side effects of vaccinations? And not reporting on that at all? And what about the fact that the BBC was put under pressure by the British government? to change its editorial policy. Are you aware of that? This is, a, this is not an interview about the BBC. Oh, so. you thought it wasn't? <laughs> and this, I see now why you've done Twitter Spaces. I am not a representative of the BBC's editorial policy. I want to make that clear. Let's talk about something else. You want I'm to talk about the BBC? You too. All right, let's, 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 talk about, let's talk about something else. You weren't expecting that.